So the CX-9 is a brand new SMG in Season 4 of Modern Warfare and Warzone just before Season 5 comes out and you can unlock it for free with a weapon challenge in Warzone as well as Modern Warfare multiplayer and today I'll show you how to complete this challenge to unlock it easily and quickly in Warzone if you don't have Modern Warfare but I'll also show you guys how to unlock it in Modern Warfare Fast 2 and if you're interested in unlocking it in Modern Warfare multiplayer that is then watch the end part of the video by using the timestamps in the description to jump to that part. So I'm going to quickly explain the challenge, give the best class setup the game modes for this and then some quick tips to help you get the challenge done even faster so make sure you stick around until the end of the video so you don't miss out on any important tips now once you unlock this weapon you may want to level it up or unlock gold platinum or damascus camo on the weapon or even make a good class setup with it if that's the case i'll have camo guides a best class setup for this weapon and then a guide on how to level up guns fast so check those out there'll be a card on screen and a link in the description now this weapon is most easily unlocked in modern warfare multiplayer but it can still be fairly easy to unlock in warzone 2 with these simple tips so let's talk about the actual challenge and how to unlock the CX-9. What it says is you need to get two long shot kills while using an SMG in five different matches. Obviously a long shot is just getting a kill from a far enough distance away that you earn a long shot medal, which is about 30 meters or just over in both Modern Warfare and Warzone. So don't think you need to be super far away, as long as you're standing about 30, 31 meters or so away from the enemy, that's far enough away to get a long shot. After watching this video, if you need more help with getting long shots, I have made a dedicated guide for that. So if you need it, check it out again, there'll be a card on screen or a link in the description. And just before we get into the actual strategy, a quick note is that currently in Modern Warfare and sometimes in Warzone, the weapon unlock challenges require completed matches, meaning you can't leave the game early. Some people have the challenge progress register correctly can leave the game, whereas others, they have to stay in it for the whole match. So stay in it until it finishes in Modern Warfare multiplayer, but for Warzone you can probably leave, but some people still won't register. Now also at the time of making this video, my unlock progress for this weapon actually wouldn't track at all in either Modern Warfare or Warzone, despite me getting lots of long shots. And I saw on Twitter that Raven have acknowledged they are aware of an issue with completing the challenge to unlock the weapon or to level it up. So you also want to check your kills counted by checking your challenge progress bar in game. Currently it seems you can't actually check it in the middle of a game anymore like you could recently, only once the game is actually finished as the game won't let you edit your loadout. So when you're on the lobby menu, go to the weapons tab, click on edit loadouts, choose a loadout, click on a primary weapon and go to the SMG tab, scroll to the bottom of the list and you'll see the CX-9 waiting to be unlocked. By hovering over the CX-9 it will show you how much progress you've made towards the challenge to unlock it. Obviously you want to check this before the match, know what you're on and then afterwards to see if it counted. Check that you actually got at least two long shots so it will say in yellow text on the screen when you get a kill long shot and the next it will say the distance so for example long shot 31.9 meters it will say something like that and then obviously that tells you that you've gotten the long shot in the game if you find leaving the match in warzone causes your progress not to count even after they fix the bugs with the unlocking then don't leave any of your warzone games until you get this challenge done because otherwise it will cause you problems. Okay, so let's move on to the class setup for multiplayer and Warzone, and then we'll talk about the best strategy in Warzone. So the class setup is as follows. First of all, for the primary, you're gonna wanna put on an SMG such as the MP7, the AUG, anything like that. I personally went for the MP7 because it's quite good. You could also put on the MP5, whatever you guys want. But just be aware that the Cold War SMGs may count, they may not, I don't know. I suspect there'll probably be a problem with the Cold War weapons tracking the progress towards this challenge. And if that's the case, then just use the Modern Warfare Warfare SMG to be on the safe side so don't use any Cold War ones unless you specifically know it will count. I assume some people in the comment section of this video will also point out whether it worked for them or not with Cold War weapons. If you see someone saying it worked it probably does in which case you use Cold War weapons like the MAC-10 or the OTS-9 or anything like that but if you see anyone saying it doesn't work or you don't know just use a Modern Warfare weapon to avoid the risk of it not counting otherwise you have to do it twice. So if you put on an SMG like the MP7, the example attachments I'm gonna recommend are things like the FSS Recon for the barrel, which increases your damage range, your bullet velocity, and your recoil control. And then I've gone for the VLK 3.0 optic. Obviously it's a magnified scope, so it's easier to see enemies at long shot range. And then I put on the rubberized grip tape for the rear grip, which increases your recoil control, so it's a little bit more accurate. Then we've gone for the 50 round mags for the ammunition just so you've got more ammo and you don't run out in the middle of a gunfight sometimes i found i need to reload and the enemies wasn't quite dead so that's why it's useful to have more ammo and then finally i've gone for the operator foregrip on the under barrel to again improve your recoil control for the secondary you can put on anything like a launcher but you don't need it and then for the perks i put on cold blooded in perk one which makes you undetectable by ai targeting systems and thermal optics it also doesn't trigger the high alert warning so you stay out of the way from thermal optics and you don't trigger high high alert if anyone's in front of you and you're behind them. In perk 2 I'd put on high alert so your vision pulses when enemies outside of your field of view can see you and then finally I'd 
use the tune up perk which reduces your field upgrade charge time by 40% so you can earn your field upgrade faster which allows you to get more kills more easily. For the lethal and tactical you don't want to use the lethal but for the tactical I'll put on a stim shot just so that you can heal in the middle of a gunfight if you need to and you're less likely to die. And then for the field upgrade you want to put on something like stopping power so this does more damage to enemies at longer ranges so obviously if you've got tune up you can earn stopping power faster and the more times you can put it on the more easy it is to get kills at longer distances for these long shots. So that's the class setup. What about the map mode and the strategy? Well, for Warzone, I recommend going into Plunder because it gives you custom loadouts, infinite respawns, and there's no gas. But you want to make sure to turn squad fill off on the menu before searching for a match, where this will mean that you won't have to have teammates on your squad, and therefore, when you die, you can keep respawning where you want to rather than being dragged around the whole map like to the other side of the map where your teammates are. So this way you can respawn where you last died or where you want to, and that way it makes it a little bit more easy to get this challenge done. So keep it off and you'll be in good standing. What about the actual main strategy in Warzone and some of the best tips? Well, first of all, when spawning in, head to a high traffic area. So for example, Superstore or Storage Town. Personally, I liked Storage Town a little bit more just because there's lots of enemies and it means more kills in a shorter amount of time. Now you need to kill two enemies at a long shot distance, obviously. So you need to search out enemies by watching your minimap, your compass for red dots or listening for footsteps, listening for gunshots or parachutes, opening, things like that. You want to equip the stopping power field upgrade when it's charged or find it on the ground or in loot chests in order to increase your weapon damage to increase the chance of getting a kill. So there's multiple ways to get it. And then this is a really important point. You want to use your ping system by pressing up on the D-pad, which shows you how far away you are from the spot you're looking at. Easier to do this when you're aiming down sight. And that will tell you whether you're at least 30 meters or more away from the enemy. Obviously, if you're too close push yourself back a bit more so that you're far enough away so that if an enemy comes past you'll get a long shot if you're too close push yourself back basically and if you're way too far away then come a bit closer just in case someone comes otherwise at a really long distance it's more difficult to get the kill just so you guys know you need to kill the enemy completely in war zone so you can't just down them into last stand mode however you can kill a downed enemy as one of your two kills for the long shot therefore if there is a downed enemy near you move back to at least 30 meters so you can kill them with it counting as a long shot obviously don't shoot them at close range otherwise it won't count another point is that the pre-game lobby kills for warzone i don't believe they count i haven't checked it this time because obviously the progress isn't checking but for previous challenges recently the pre-game lobby kills haven't counted so i doubt they will for this challenge now you want to use the long lanes between the buildings at storage town for example if that's where you go as these will often have enemies in them and obviously they'll be running along them and they make for lots of great long shots so shoot them when you're far enough away but don't push yourself so far back that it makes getting a kill difficult Cool. You want to use rooftops or high points as well to see enemies at further distances more easily. You don't have to always do it, but it's an idea. And it can also be useful to sit on buildings or objects around the outside of Storage Town or Superstore that look inwards towards the high flow area of that region. Or alternatively, you can stay around the edge of Storage Town just inside the concrete walls and look either in towards the center, but also out at the grassy area around Storage Town because lots of enemies will drop at that area. And so either if you're at the edge of Storage Town looking out or if you've just come out of storage town around the walled perimeter if you're near there there'll be lots of enemies dropping in that area to go into storage town so you can push yourself far enough away from an enemy and get kills there that's probably one of the best places to be especially for long shots or you can sort of prop yourself on a building a little bit away looking at storage town so use that to your advantage because not a lot of people will be doing that they'll be trying to rush into storage town you'll be sort of looking around the edge of it but obviously you can get kills within storage town itself but that's just a nice easy way now if you don't like visiting Superstore or Storage Town, then other great areas to get kills relate to sort of money deposit sites. So where people go and deposit the cash, wait around there at a long shot spot and then kill them when they get close or go to high earners on the map. And if you come across someone with a decent weapon at long range, so for example, like an assault rifle or a sniper, and they seem to have the upper hand, do absolutely not challenge them at longer distances as you're likely to lose the gunfight. So as soon as I see, for example, like a sniper scope glint, meaning that the sniper's looking at me, I'll leave the gunfight or duck behind cover. Otherwise, I know I'm just going to instantly get blooped and I'm gonna die. Make sure you also have picked up and put on armor or reloaded your weapon or equipped the stopping power magazine before you enter a gunfight otherwise you may die more easily or it will take too long to reload and then the person
person might have run away or whatever. So make sure you've done all that beforehand so you're prepped for the gunfight and you're more likely to get those two long shots. And you also want to make use of cover as well. This is a really important point. So stay behind it while shooting enemies if possible and mount onto objects to improve your accuracy and reduce the chance of you getting shot and dying. Seeing as you'll be killing enemies at like 30 meters or more away, recoil shouldn't be too much of a problem. But if it is, tap the trigger and don't hold it down as this allows the gun to relax and therefore it reduces your recoil. Now another method if you're kind of struggling in Warzone with this is basically it's more frowned upon but if you stay in the plane until it reaches the end of the flight path at which point all of the inactive players will be kicked out of the plane and dropped to the ground you want to move a little distance away from where they're going to land so that you can get a few long shots easily so push yourself back a little bit and drop near them but not super near and then hopefully you're far enough away that you can get the long shot and when they drop to the ground kill them and you should get some long shots hopefully now this is potentially a, a, a way to get a few easy kills but be careful as lots of players try and exploit this strategy so if there's any active players if they look like they're moving or if they have moved kill them first and then kill the inactive players afterwards otherwise you're likely to die and if you struggle to complete the challenge in warzone you can also look out for occasional limited time modes like kingslayer warzone rumble things like that that's a great way to do it as well and be around ever so often probably at the start of season five i suspect so that's how to do it for warzone but if you guys have modern warfare and want to complete the challenge in multiplayer this is what you want to do because obviously it's easier in modern warfare multiplayer so same class setup as before and then you want to go into hardcore shoot house or shipment if available so basically what you want to do because a lot of people ask me about this is go on the game menu click filter go to hardcore select just the mode you want so for example hardcore shoot house shipment and then if shoot house shipment is not there then choose another short mode with some potential long shots so for example hardcore free for all hardcore tdm but i highly recommend it being hardcore because that way players have very low health that way it's easier to kill them at a longer distance now shoot house is great for long shots by going to the middle path and looking across to the other side or looking across to or from the second floor of the building on one side and also to or from the shipping container across to look at the barrel on the other side of the shoot house map so there's three lanes you can use any of them on shoot house to get the long shots all of them are good but especially the shipping container to the barrel is great and believe it or not you can get long shots in shipment as well because it's only an smg you need it for whereas with other weapons like assault rifles the long shot distance is too big to be possible in shipment but with smgs it is actually possible just about so you can get long shots on shipment so if you land on shipment don't think it's too small it's not but what you you need to do is push yourself back as far as you can and look across at the spots that you see in my gameplay so most of them will be just from one side to the other but where the enemy is especially sort of pushed back against the walls they're behind cover things like that that will normally be a long shot but push yourself back as far as you can increase the distance however you can between you and the enemy as long as it's pretty much from one side of the map to the other you will get a long shot now a long shot medal will pop up on screen if your long shot kill was successful obviously you need two of them to count you can't leave the game like i say you have to stay in it to the end but shipment is especially good for objective modes like domination hardpoint where it kind of forces players to go to certain spots rather than just running around crazily so that way they'll go to a specific part of the map and you can then plan where you need to be standing so that you're looking across at the enemy at a long shot distance and get the long shot so as long as it's just over 30 meters you will get that long shot you also want to use the uav or compass to help find players you can obviously that's helpful as well and modern warfare multiplayer like i say is the fastest way to unlock the cx9 so if you have the full game play that to get the weapon otherwise you can use warzone but that's how to unlock the cx9 in modern warfare multiplayer and warzone if you want to watch any other modern warfare cold war or warzone weapon unlock videos best class setups guides on how to earn camos or level up guns the battle pass etc then feel free to check them all out there'll be cards on screen and a link in the description but thank you so much for watching hope you found the video useful if you did i'd appreciate if you could take a second to leave a like on the video and also be sure to check out my season 4 battle pass video to level up tiers fast and enter my cold points giveaway if you like the content on my channel feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming cold war or warzone videos thank you for watching and i'll see you guys all on the next video